got Tamara here as my driver, and I got my brother Lumpy, who's last back there, and uh, we are actually headed to Dave's best friend Earl, it, it's his 40th birthday, and so it was happened to be planned on the same day as the communities planned a potluck. So we're dividing and conquering as a family, this is how we roll, um, I'm headed to the 40th birthday, and Marley is headed in to meet the community, um, so we're working as a team. And we're dropping off some uh, door prizes and uh, cupcakes. I think you got cupcakes, right, Mark? I sure did. 24 of them, and it was hard not to eat them because they look really good. Okay, so I'm going to get everything ready, and let's go in. Oh, they're sitting down. Hi, community. So I have Carmel on the phone here. All of the community, community. I'm like shaking, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so we brought you guys some cupcakes. Oh, Carmel. They're not gluten free. <laughs> I will eat yours for you. Thank you, Gail, thank you. Anything for you. Anyway, I'll leave you to your visiting. I just want to tell you how grateful I am for each and every one of you. If I start to cry, please forgive me. Uh, I guess now maybe five years ago? Five years. Five years ago, I started uh, missing things, losing my memory, couldn't find anything, I was hiding things, I was seeing things, and, and I said, Tammy, uh, we better go see the doctor, there's something wrong. And she said, Mom, yeah, I wanted to tell you. So eventually I was forgetting who I was seeing. I didn't know my children, I didn't know my grandchildren, I didn't know Tammy, I didn't even know myself. But once, when that show came on, Carmel show, Tammy knew. I could sit there and I'd be quiet for a half hour. I was diagnosed with dementia. Wow. And she always said, Mom, Carmel's on. Boom, I'd sit there and believe me, during this illness, I wanted to go out the door and run away. I was always on the run. And uh, we'd sit there and we'd watch Carmel, and I said, I used to say, this is what she tells me, because I was not with it. Uh, she said, I'd look at her and I would say, oh, I love that family. And then, of course, off I go again. One night, I had a lucid thought. I don't have no idea how it happened, but I was sitting there and all of a sudden I knew where I was. You gotta remember, I was diagnosed with dementia, so I didn't know who I was or anybody. And I thought, I'm gonna run the computer, which I haven't used in years, because I forgot how to use it. And I Googled Carmel, and I went, oh my God. So next thing you know, I was getting a course. I told Tammy, I said, I think I'm okay, S excuse me. Hmm. I said, I think I'm okay. <coughs> and she said, Mom, you're going to be okay. And I went into the course and I became stronger and stronger and my memory started coming back. She took me to the doctor and the doctor looked at me and I, she said, I can't believe you, you're a miracle. And that's what happened. I was reading uh, Pat Cannon. And she came up with this name, Diane, Diane, Diane. You know, nobody knows Diane. And it was filmed, I saw it. And so I mean, I have a sister, Diane, that passed away. And I'm just, whatever. You know, it's not me. They're reading somebody else. So then at the end of the reading, it was almost the end of the show. Um, she was about ready to go off stage. And she said, I have to come back to this Diane. Who's the Diane? Who knows the Diane? And she said, I don't like to do this, but who knows the Diane? Well, I was looking at my phone because I thought, well, if it's Diane, maybe I could record it, you know, and I'm looking at my phone and I've got my hand up like this. And Carmel said, it, then I looked up and nobody of 250 people, nobody else had their hand up. Oh, me. wow. <laughs> and it was with my sister Diane, so Carmel says, oh, you know, are you on a spiritual journey? I had three badges, you know, three stickers. I said, you think? <laughs> so, well, your, your sister's here just to say she's helping you with your journey and whatever. Someone was in Carmen that Carmel was running at the ranch. And I thought, I need to go to the 
have no idea. And then I have the same feeling of like, oh my god, I can't go in here. Like, how am I going to do this? I'm just going to break down, and I still break down. And I think you always will when you talk about your loved ones, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I went in there and it changed my life. <laughs>